Hey guys, what's going on? Joe Mills here for you. And today, I'm at the Roanoke branch of RSG, and I'm gonna be mulch blowing today. Check out this truck behind me. It's a thin uh, mulch blower on a uh, international truck, and it holds about nine cubic yards of mulch. I'm gonna be working with Hector and with Chris today. And uh, Chris is actually over there. You can see him right there with the telehandler and he is loading the 24 cubic yard truck. So anyway guys, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna to be learning how these guys can blow up to 50, sometimes 80 yards a day of mulch just from these blowing trucks. So, yeah, they told me I'm gonna be hauling a lot of hoses and I said that's fine, but they did say I'd get my hand and try out that mulch blower. So I'll be sure to bring you guys along with me as this happens. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's landscape together. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how My name is Hector Baez. I've been with RSG for 11 years. I mostly run these uh, bark blower trucks for them. I'm Chris Thompson. I've been here three years and I do everything. I run mulch blowers, I run cedars, dump trucks, but today we're going to go over 50 for you and how it operates main part of this truck is this handheld <coughs> remote. This is what we use to run the truck when we're not near it. It operates by a switch. Turn this switch on 
<coughs> it turns remote on then you have to go back to the control panel and turn it on but the way it operates it operates the the airflow the feed the material coming out of the machine and the floor we can control how fast we move the material out of the machine to go back and make this work you gotta come back here to this control panel right here this control panel is the heart of the truck okay <coughs> Here's the switch for remote on and off. Turn that on. And it would help if we had the key. Take this key, insert it right here. Turn this remote on. Turn that switch on. Turn this switch on. Push this black button. And then hit this button right here. And now the remote is set in standby. So now when I walk away from this truck, I can operate this machine with this remote right here. Okay. This turn this switch here turns our floor on. This switch here opens our gate back here. Like so. up a hose, we can start shooting mulch. And that's basically it for this machine right here. Okay, it has an emergency shut off. Right here, you push that button, it shuts everything off. If, the, if it's running while the mulch is feeding, and it shuts the whole machine down. Just like that. And basically, that's your controls for this truck. That's all it is. It's a, it's a blower truck. It has those three inch hoses to hook up to the back of the truck. Shoot out monster through it. That's the basics. Get enough airflow coming out of the truck to push the material you have coming out. If the airflow is too low, it's going to look shitty when it comes back and look lumpy and everything. So you got to adjust your, your force speed and your airflow. If you get it just right, you should have a nice, smooth looking motion. If you have a, a heavier material, you want to lower your floor speed and increase your airflow. If you have a lighter material, you want to increase your floor speed and lower your airflow. And you just adjust it to whatever you're comfortable at shooting with or whatever you can handle. Job. You want to do an inch and a half. If it's a brand new install, you want to do three inches. Um, as far as knowing how much you have when you're shooting, you just got to eye it. You get better the more you do it. It's, um, if you're not sure, when you first start out, just check it periodically. Make sure you're putting down the right amount. 